Hello and welcome to another YouTube tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how you can add your own voice acting, sounds and music to your game. First you can just write whatever sentence your character is supposed to say. Afterwards you should open your sound record software. If you don't have a microphone you could always use your own phone. And afterwards, Hello, just it transfer is nice all to of see the you. sound files to your computer. Then you should locate the file you just recorded. Place it somewhere safe where it's easy to find. It is also nice to keep a copy in case something were to happen. Since RPG Maker is not supporting MP4 or MP3 files. Uh, we need to convert the file into an OGG file. If you don't have a uh, audio converting software, you can use this internet site. I will add a link in the description below. When the file is converted, click download. Place it somewhere safe where it's easy to find. You could even make a new folder for all of the sounds for your project. That would be a good idea. Alright, so when the file is downloaded, uh, open your game folder, uh, copy the files, or uh, yeah, and then uh, locate the audio folder inside of your game folder, and then you go to SE. That's for all of the short sounds in your game. Uh, it is smart to use this for all of the voice acting. It is nice so to see. So before the message where the voice acting is supposed to be played. Add the SE sound, then back to the game itself. Hello here, YouTube. It is nice to see you. There we go. There was the voice acting. I must admit, that was pretty awesome. Okay, now you know how to add awesome voice acting. Just remember to put all of your voice acting in a folder where it's easy to find. Add the voice acting to your game project inside of the SE folder. Or just short sounds in general. Opening doors, uh, slapping uh, enemies in the face, you know, all that sort of sounds. And for the music, it is somewhat the same. And I will show you. Because the music also need to be OGG. The only difference is that um, they are longer and they should be located in the BGM folder and not the SE folder. After it have been downloaded, converted and added to the BGM folder, Go to your map, then click edit, then find the song, and there we go, just add it. Now let's play the game and see. Hello. It is nice to see you. And there you go, no problem. Now you have mastered the skills of adding SE uh, voice acting and BGM music. Make sure to make awesome music, cool voice acting and use it in your projects. To stand out a little bit. And if you like this tutorial, hit that like button. If you want to see more content, make sure to comment and tell me what you want to know. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll probably be able to help you with whatever. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this content. 